The simple answer is no, you cannot break the law to let an emergency vehicle pass. You would still be liable for the fine. The driver of the emergency vehicle will have been trained to not put you under any pressure and encourage you to break the law. They can break the law under certain circumstances, but you are not allowed to. Let's look at an example here. So we're driving along this road and this is a bus lane on the left. So we must not enter the bus lane during its hours of operation. The road sign on the left, saying about the bus lane, does not have any hours of operation. This means the bus lane is in operation 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So we must never enter this bus lane under any circumstances. Often with emergency vehicles, drivers panic. And when they panic, they make mistakes, they break the law, and maybe don't think rationally, and could do dangerous things. So how do we prevent this panic? The key is our use of mirrors. We should be using our mirrors regularly to keep an eye on our surroundings and keep an eye on what's behind us. By checking regularly, we will see the emergency vehicles coming behind early, giving us plenty of time to plan accordingly. As we mentioned earlier, the emergency vehicles should not be putting you under pressure to break the law or do something dangerous. So what they will normally do is turn off their sirens, which is the noise, and just leave on their lights. So their lights are to warn you of their presence. Their sirens are to tell you to move out of the way to let them pass. If there's no sirens on, it typically means you do not need to do anything. The emergency vehicle will deal with the situation themselves. And this is exactly what happens on this situation. The emergency vehicle has their lights on, but no sirens. You'll notice here the other drivers go straight into the bus lane. Now, as you mentioned, they should not do this. They technically could get fined as it is illegal to enter a bus lane. By staying calm and planning, we can see there's no more oncoming traffic. So if we stay in our lane, the emergency vehicle can just overtake us here. No need for us to break the law here. The same logic applies at traffic lights. Let's imagine this traffic light was on red and we needed to stop behind the stop line. We must not proceed past the stop line to let an emergency vehicle pass. The emergency vehicle will find a way around us. They may go around the left, going through the bus lane and through the left only lane, or they may drive on the wrong side of the road on the other side of the central reservation to get around us. There's only one person that can tell you to break the law and it would be legal. That is a police officer. So if it's a police car and they direct you to go through the red light or they direct you to enter a bus lane, then it is perfectly legal. You should not be fined. If you do get a fine, you can appeal it and you should win your case. If it's an ambulance behind you and you go for a red light, you will not win your case. If you appeal it, you will still have to pay the fine. Same applies if it's a fire engine. You will still have to pay the fine. The question you probably have is what would happen on your driving test? Would you be failed if you went for a red light went through a bus lane for an emergency vehicle. In my experience, this will go down to the examiner's judgment. They may help you in a situation. They see an emergency vehicle, they may say to you, go through the bus lane, that's fine. And they can't then fail you for that because they've told you to do it. If you broke the law for, let's say, a fire engine, and the examiner didn't tell you to do anything, then the examiner will assess the situation and you could potentially get a serious fault as you've broken the law or the examiner could decide to give no fault. It will very much depend on the examiner's judgment of the situation.